in, in child labor concept, uh, uh, sir, mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, will you give some thought to this also? That we have seen that the, as I have just said, that the political parties of all hues. I mean, they have their student wings. We see that uh, a class four or five uh, uh, standard student holding a play card in support of certain political philosophy. Uh, if you ask that child uh, what is that meant, he or she can't be able to answer you. He does, he's she or he doesn't have a faint idea about this. So this is also one kind of, uh, is it not one kind of uh, sort of <laughs> child labor? I mean, <laughs> I it, because it is yeah. impeding. Uh, so the, be the best dialogue. people to <laughs> answer such a question are the politicians. <laughs> Yeah. Sir, if you if you permit, sir, quickly, can we come to the the procedural part, the modus operandi of your mission? Sir, how do you do it? How do you identify a child in distress, and how do you address the situation? Uh, I will summarize uh, those things um, because I think the time is running out. Um, when I go to my office on an average day. Normally, I see some parents sitting and waiting for my colleagues or for me. Now, since I am traveling a lot, so they wait for my colleagues. These are the parents who are child whose children are stolen, kidnapped. They have no idea where they are. Some of the parents are those who know where the children are confined in slavery. There are mothers who say that their daughter, her daughter is missing for three years, four years, five years. And when the, the father came all the way to Delhi in search of the daughter, he has also been trapped by the same or someone else. The father is also not coming back home. When you talk to such mother who has no hope, and the only hope perhaps in me and my organization. On one hand, I feel the worth of my life, but on the other, I feel big challenge that I cannot wait even for a single moment. The sense of urgency is there, which, which all these parents brought to us. Sometimes we read in the newspapers, sometimes we come to know through telephone calls that the children are trapped and confined to mines or factories or other places. Sometimes someone runs away from a mine or a uh, factory and comes to us and tell that how a large number of children or even the parents of those children are trapped into bonded labor or s virtual slavery. So it, it goes on like that. Then we have to go through the legal procedures. That means we have to make use of the appropriate laws, may it be the child labor law, bonded labor system abolition act, may it be the factory act, may it be juvenile justice act, may it be right to education act. There are several laws um, which uh, are relevant in that case. So we have to work hard on it on one hand, but on the other hand we have to also do our own investigation on the basis of some tips given by the parents or by others. So, we have good number of uh, dedicated people who have passion, who have professional uh, you know, qualification to do it. So, then they go towards that. Of course, it is not easy to coordinate with various agencies including police, labor department, health department, local magistrate like SDM who is responsible for the uh, enforcement of uh, bonded labor law then the labor department is in, uh, responsible for enforcement of child labor law. So different departments, that is quite a fragmented situation and it's not easy to coordinate and cooperate with all of them. But we have to do it because we have to rescue the children under appropriate laws so that they could be entitled for the rehabilitation benefits under government schemes and the uh, some uh, deterrent action could be taken against the employer. So we have to do it. Then uh, uh, we one of the the I would say the USBs of 
बचपन बचाओ आंदोलन हैज बीन द डायरेक्ट एक्शन वी डोंट इन्फॉर्म द डिटेल्स और डिटेल एड्रेस ऑफ दोज प्लेसेज टू द पुलिस अदरवाइज लोकल पुलिस नॉर्मली पास ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द एम्प्लायर दे कैन गेट ए हैवी ब्राइव एंड इन प्लेस इन टर्न वैन वी रीच देयर द पीपल आर प्रिपेयर टू अटैक ऑन अर्स आई लॉस टू ऑफ माई कोलीग्स वन वॉज शॉर्ट डेड एंड वन वॉज बीटन टू डेथ आई हैव स्कार्स एंड इंजरीज एंड बोन्स एंड ऑल माई बॉ बॉडी माई लेफ्ट फुट इज ब्रोकन माई राइट शोल्डर इज इज ब्रोकन माई बैक बोन इज ब्रोकन आई हैव स्कार्स ऑन माई हैड सो ऑल ऑलमोस्ट ऑल माई सीनियर कोलीग्स हैव बीन यू नो अटैक लाइक दैट वी नैरोली स्केप्ड आई नैरोली स्केप्ड सेवरल टाइम्स um so it's 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 very hard in a way that we have to be very careful very cautious about the leakage of information we have to be very swift it's it's, it's a, such a swift operation is a matter of few minutes if you lose uh, just one minute then suddenly somebody can come from the back and hit you and um your hospital you will <laughs> you will find yourself in hospital it happened with me and other colleagues in the past so we have to be very careful about those things in presence of police it happens because local police is normally connected with them because they uh, they give good bribes and and appease them all the time sometimes political connection and pressure um but uh, thank god that uh, in most cases we are able to liberate those children almost 80000 more than 80000 children individually and in the groups have been freed by Uh, my colleagues and uh, i i also feel very fortunate and lucky to be the part of it um, and i always say and i believe in it that when i free a child i'm not doing any mercy or any obligation to to that child or to the family rather the truth is other way around when i free a child i free i think that i'm freeing myself i free myself from inside i i read about freedom freedom movements and the great leaders who freed us but reading something is something different than experience freedom we have read that mukti moksha is the supreme you know salvation or or the the supreme emancipation of uh, is the purpose of our human life in indian philosophy in hindu philosophy especially uh but um, that comes only when you be the part of it when you experience and you, and you can see that you are walking with freedom not simply reading the freedom in books or mukti in books so um that's always great uh, all these uh, sometimes the mothers from assam from odisha from uh, arunachal pradesh from uh jharkhand who who lost all the hopes that their son or daughter can ever come back home and sit in their lap in 3 years 4 years 5 years after when they they embrace their daughter and able to put them on their lap i tell you i tell you that this experience is divine this is immortal because the first smile of joy of freedom appears on the face of that child is divine is godly when the first tear uh rolls from the eyes of the mother in joy i see the glimpse of god so for me it is not a very technical mechanical legal things it's more a spiritual experience for me and that is always always my driving force um uh, it's not the name it's not the award it is not anything else it's more a kind of uh witnessing or experiencing the smile of god on the faces of those children who are freed thank you sir yes, uh, yes we had some uh, great moments i uh, had some rather magic moments with magic you magic moments yes sir, and it's uh, such a pleasure and we are very honored sir 
and what can you do? You just can say a big thank you to you, sir. My pleasure. Thank My you, pleasure. Sir. Namaste. Thank you.